Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here again. Today we're going to be reviewing this fancy dancy corkscrew cork bottle opener thing. Stay with us. Okay guys, Shea Bear here and we have Monkey. Hi Monkey. Hey. We got this um this cork bottle opener here. And it looked pretty neat. We got this at a thrift store for four dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it had eight on it. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna give it a shot. But I also got something else I wanted to show you. I got this tripod here. Bring it up here. I got this tripod here. It's the the Velbon. This is the T-3500. Okay. Now I got this. Now it's missing the quick release thing, the part you actually screw onto your camera and you can take it off and put it on. I normally don't buy these things without that because it's pretty much useless unless you make one, which I can make one, but I don't like to spend that kind of time on something that you just buy for... They had $5 on it and I got it half off. I gave $2.50 for this. Now, the reason why I bought this thing was because in another one of our videos, and we've had it for a while now, we had bought one at an antique store, remember? I couldn't believe I got it at an antique store because it wasn't an antique. This is the Velbon. S6000. So this thing's a monster. This thing's heavy duty. Now, the difference between this one and Mini Me here is this one, of course, it's a professional grade. So it's got the crank on it that cranks the head up and down. And the little one don't course because it doesn't need one it's it's small it's just meant to sit in uh, small places uh, other than that it is identical only smaller it's got the same quick releases for your legs here it's got the same feet the same handle the same setup uh, the head's a little bigger of course on the other ones more stable it's got the same locking it just don't like I said it just don't have the crank you just lift it up but I had to have it I mean, for two dollars and fifty cents, it's it's the little brother to this one, and I I just thought it was the cutest thing, and I had to have it. Monkey said, so "We'll get the damn thing, spoiled brat." Yeah. She didn't say that, but I know what she thinks. So I just <laughs> thought I'd throw this in there on that instead of making one minute and a half video of where my intro is longer than the damn video. So I, I had to show you that. I just thought that was cute and bought it two different places th two and a half hours away from each other. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cute. All right, so let's get back to this thing. I got this, uh, like I said, it, it's, it's, I, I just thought it was neat. It's a corkscrew opener. When you push it like that, this, this, the corkscrew actually turns. Oh, no. Let's get some light on the subject here. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of hard to tell, but this is actually turning. If you look down here, right in this area, it's actually turning. When you push it down, it turns. So, we're going to see how well this works. And it better work good because we have this $150 a bottle of wine here. So, That's right. Monkey's looking at me funny because she don't know how much I gave for this bottle of wine. Now, actually, this bottle of wine <laughs> was how much? Four ninety nine. Like five bucks or something. Yeah, it was on sale. It's Sutter Home, but yeah. it's it's good. You know, it's not like you know very expensive wine. So we're gonna open this wine up. But first, this is supposed to have one of those um, push down things that's supposed to stick to the table. But that doesn't seem to work. 
So, I'm not real worried about that because, hey, it is a video. So, yeah. It almost worked. Did it? But anyway, so it, it, you know, it's good enough. So, what? I was holding on to it. It was shaky. It is rubber, so that's not going. Right. Yeah. So, we're going to open this up. She's laughing at me because this is not my drink of choice. I'm the old redneck style guy. See that? <laughs> now, these guys are not sponsoring me any way at all, unfortunately. Because I would give them a hell of a review. Would you like to do it? If I can. Well, why are you laughing at me? Are you in the center? Yeah, I'm in the center. They're not easy to open. That's why I was laughing. Do we need a knife or something? Probably. We'll be back. <laughs> Tell them we'll be back, monkey. You'll be back. I'm still here. <laughs> Man, I don't want to warm with it. Yeah. No. Oh. Probably a knife would have worked. <laughs> Ooh. I want if that picked that up, that's Ooh. going on an outtake. I'm sorry, babe. You okay? It's a damn good thing I didn't get you a knife. I've been <laughs> Sitting with your dad right now in rehab going, oh yeah, your daughter cut all three of my fingers. Not as bad as the whole leg, but. Yeah. All right. And it's twist all. What? It's a fake cork. You're kidding me. Yes. Oh no. I am kidding you. Oh no. Yes, I am kidding you. Oh, you are. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't see that far. <laughs> Yay, he got it, he got it. Yay, it's a real corky. Alright. Now, I don't know if you could see it or not because we cut part of that out to keep you from getting bored of us trying to open this. But I went, she handed me this and I went to grab this and then I went to grab the scissors and she said, <laughs> I almost lost. I almost lost my life. I could have died. Those YouTubers that always do that. I did almost die. The you didn't three. almost. All right. I did. Almost. No, almost means you had a crash. Never mind. Anyway. <laughs> so apparently, you go like this. Look, it don't fit. See that? It That's does not fit. No, it don't. You have to crank it up. So, you have to adjust this thing. Oh, cool, eh? I've never seen one like that, have you? I, I guess this holds it. So let's go ahead and tighten this down. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright. She's moving out of the way. I don't want it so to So I guess blow you up. hold it like this and then you bring the handle around. Do you want me to push Whoops. the handle? Yeah, that was something bad happens. I'm not the only one Who to get in trouble. It? All right, go so for what do you do? You push it. You push it all the way up and over. All the way yeah, up. Yeah, see, it's screwing the corks, the cork, the screw down into the cork right now. Now pull it back up. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's hard. Hold on. I got it. And I'm screwed. So you gotta do it again, right? I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I've never had one like this. Unscrewing. Put it mm. back in there. Oh, here. Let me try it. Here. Want me to hold it? Let's raise this up a little bit more. Oops. Mm. Oh, it's stuck on the cork. Mmm. Back it out. There we go. Alright. So, you know, first time we ever did it, so... Oh, 
that's cool. It worked, yay! It worked. I'm it happy. worked. So, there you go. She can pour her. We'll do a little toast with you guys. Because Liz going to go somewhere, she was looking forward to a Long Island iced tea. I mentioned in my last video mm. yeah. uh, that we may or may not go to uh, the uh, bike fest. The bike fest. It's uh, three days, mm. and uh, but it's the largest in North America, which is bigger than Daytona Bike Week, mm -hmm. and it's shorter. It's only three days, but I didn't feel real well and. We wanted to go to a, a couple bars that we really like. They're not really bars, more like pubs. Well, the Rats Hole's a bar. Yeah. But they have good music. They have a, one of our favorite bands there. And we was going to go listen to them. Then there's another another one. It's kind of like, it looks, it reminds, it reminds us of the Apollo. There's a couple guys playing pianos and stuff. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to do a cheer here. Yay. But we ended up not going. But we have a surprise for you guys tomorrow night, though. Because we'll be doing some filming tomorrow. Right. And she will, too. So keep an eye out on her channel. Yeah. So, here we go. There we go. Mm. Now, this thing, I don't even know what it's called. I don't know the name brand. But I imagine if I would have adjusted that bottle right the first time, it probably would have pulled out the first time. Oh, look. Mm -hmm. And it pulls the cork off for you. Isn't that cool? Oh, I like awesome. that. Awesome. That's cool. That is cool. Mm -hmm. So I bet you could probably put the cork back in with that thing. Let's try it. Oh, maybe not. Well, you could just raise it. Right. Well, you can go like that. Um, I don't know. Maybe you've got to put it in further. Um, we don't always get these kinds of wine bottles, but maybe we'll we will hmm. now some more, huh? Yeah. Because this is cool. Even though it didn't stay flat down, you kind of hold this anyway, so that kind of helps hold it down as you push it in and then pull it out. So it it is very very adjustable. Adjust it by loosening. This right here on the side, and it'll go. Hey, we can take it'll a go time. that high or that low. Mm -hmm. So I like it. Um, whatever it is, if you guys know, um, feel free to put it in the comment below what this is, how much original price is. I'll I'll try to Google it and find out myself. Um, there's no brand name. No, at there's all. no no markings, no mm -hmm. numbers, but it's it's plastic. But of course this is not. This is metal. That's metal. But it's plastic, so it's probably not that much. But it doesn't matter. I mean, for four dollars, I think it's kind of cool. So there you go. How's that? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah, th thumbs up for me too. Two bear claws up for me. Two monkey claws. Two monkey claws. Yeah. I thought they were monkey paws. Oh. <laughs> monkey claws. Alright. on the day. <laughs> Alright, guys, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out Monkey 1000's channel. And, um, oh, I wanted to give a special shout out and say thanks, Ben. Uh, BB, or BXX32 uh, did a video today on a review of a, of a stereo. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Ben, you're awesome. Thank you so much. I really, Tell him I like the truck. Really appreciate it. Oh, yeah, Ben, if you're watching, by the way, mm. uh, Monkey loves the truck. She wants the truck. Because as you can tell by our videos here lately, that she has one. And, uh, hell, that truck at 91,000 miles ain't even broke in yet, dude. Nope. And she, as soon as she seen it, she said, oh, I want that truck. Because she can drive a stick. So. Yeah, and I uh, see. She drove my Saturn. I it was saw my future in it. <laughs> Going to work every day. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. And retiring mine and let it be the boat. So <laughs> if Pops ever wants to sell it, let me know because that may be, we may have to take a trip up to Ohio, do a couple <laughs> videos with you and drive that bitch back home. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yay. So 
Anyway, guys, any, thanks, thanks again, Ben. I, I really appreciate it, man. And uh, don't, don't let people discourage you. I thought of you today, and I almost mentioned it in my video that about because I had to put a windsock on my mic, and I, yeah. it was going through my head about how people was bugging you about that. Don't listen to them, Ben. You know, you've been over that with them before. You know that it's an internal mic, and you don't have an external port for it. Don't worry about it, man. Just Winter, have fun. Yeah, just do what you want to do and yeah. have fun with what makes you, And if you gotta if you gotta do a montage, put some music in over that video clip, I was good with that. Because it looked good, it sounded good. That's fine. Yeah. yeah, it was fine. So anyway, you know, uh, thanks again, Ben. And uh, speaking of names, you know, y'all know my real name's Marty and and growing up, trust me, I've heard all the name jokes. Like, you know, Marty Farty had a party. Everyone was there. Tutti Fruity led a beauty and they all went out for air. Shea Bear 1000, the myth, the man, the legend. Y'all be cool. <laughs>